welcome back to scene four. Here we go. Um, we are starting off with Lola Hayes, who has no conditions. She's the only one who doesn't have a single condition. So she's going to... Yeah. She's going to prepare for travel. With a ship token. And then she's going to test her influence. Five dice. And she rolls uh, four successes. Brilliant. Let's see what we would like. We have a holy sphere, which is a plus four strength test. Opus Arcano, an ally. Um, hmm. Um, she's going to take the Holy Spear and, oh, hold on. If you defeat a monster during a combat encounter, recover one sanity and gain one clue. Um, okay, she's actually going to take the Lodge Researcher and the genealogy research. And she's going to give, she's gonna trade these away. Um, so yeah. And she's then going to travel to Arkham, one, two, where she's going to have an encounter later. Lily Chen is going to perform a rest action to try and get rid of her various conditions. She's really condition central at this stage. Well, all of them are really, except for Lola. I think Lola doesn't have a single condition. Um, leg injury first. And she keeps it. Amnesia second. Six, she gets rid of the amnesia. Oh, did she have two conditions at the same time at one point? I'll have to check. Well, I will actually cut a long story short. She has failed her personal story because I think she was hallucinating and had an amnesia. So she has failed her personal story. Um, I can't do it. Lily had come to see the horror she always secretly feared. There was no destiny and no future. Her strength and will were of no more... Um, significance to the ancient evil than a speck of dust. She would die the same meaningless death that everyone else would. Lily's sanity is permanently reduced by one. So her sanity is now five. Um, and I'm going to denote this by putting a little um, blue die on her character sheet, on her character tray, and put it to five. So we know that she actually has a maximum sanity of five. Well, Lily, that's it. Um... And then she's going to prepare, f and then she's going to, yeah, she's going to travel. And that's it. So now let's turn to Zoe Samaras, who's going to perform a rest action to address her various illnesses. Um, well, she only has one, actually. She's amnesic. And she re um, removes her amnesia. Well, I mean, obviously she was sitting around somewhere in a bar in Cape Town. And um, yeah, and she's also going to prepare for travel for the next round because she still has a focus token. I'm going to put this in here. All righty. And next up is um, we're going to move to London where our dear friend is going to... Diane Stanley, is going to A, address her various conditions. First of all, we're going to look at her paranoia. And she keeps it. And her amnesia, she keeps as well. Okie dokie. Um, so that was her rest action. Now... Oh, she can actually recover sanity, though. Okay, so she is going to recover a sanity and Lily 
is going to recover her health. Um, and Zoe is also going to recover her sanity. Alrighty. So now um, she has done... Okay, we need to fill this in. So we're going to get a patrolling the streets task and an agent of secrets. I mean, she could, if she wanted to, test her influence. She's never done this. She has an influence of two. And she fails. Okay, that's her done. All right, encounters. Looking at Lola. She has a plus one to any test that she needs to take now. Um, and she gets an Arkham encounter. You are suddenly confronted on, a me on Meadow Hill by an unnameable presence. The sight of the creature horrifies you beyond description. Test Will. Her Will is three. We're going to use her additional die that she gets because she has passed her personal story and she has an audience. I mean, she's actually picking up a, a huge audience at this stage. And she passes. Just about, but she passes. If you pass, it imparts strange knowledge to you. Gain one incantation spell. Let's see what we've got. Um... Um, ritual, incantation, instill bravery, spell. Once per round, when an investigator would lose sanity, you may test your law, which is actually quite low. If you pass, prevent that investigator from losing up to two sanity. We're going to give this one to our friend Diane. Yeah, so it's a good thing that we're actually all congregating. Okay, brilliant. So that is that. Whoops. Next up, it's uh, Lily Chen, who will have a really probably boring, hopefully boring, encounter on a generic city space. Somebody says this is Jakarta, and I will not dispute this. City. This city is home to an exclusive club of world travelers. Try to convince them that granting your membership would be of um, a prestigious would be a prestigious feather in their cap. Yeah, well, crazy girl. Um, up, influence minus one. She has a reroll. And she fails, so we're going to reroll. And she fails again. She has nothing else that she can use. If you fail. Oh. Okay, nothing happens if you fail. Okay, at least nothing happened. That's good. We like it when nothing happens. Nothing bad, at least. Next up is Zoe who's going to have a generic city encounter. Uh, uh, oh, a rich heir wants someone to fulfill his father's dying wish. He will, now tr no tr he will not trust anyone who does not um, come highly recommended. Test your influence, and her influence is somewhat low too. But still, I mean, it's all... Oh, we fail. If you fail, his thugs treat you poorly. Gain one head injury condition. Sorry, girl. Really, she's becoming. Well, she doesn't have an. She doesn't have a. An injury at the. She doesn't have any condition. She just got rid of them. You know, girl, you are just like um, Diane in the last game. Uh, oopsie. Agreement. Agreement. Head injury. When you perform a rest action, you can. Not recover sanity, roll one die. On a four or five or six, you discard this card. Okay, that's fine. She is at maximum sanity, so it's not too bad. Okay. Poor Zoe. And last but not least is our friend Diane who is going to encounter this clue and she's going to address the rumor with it. So, let's see. You're passing by the government's newly installed lethal chamber, only open a week. When you see a disheveled looking man racing towards it, evidently intent on ending his own life, 
You may attempt to stop him. Test strength. Her strength is three. She passes. If you pass, you manage to delay him long enough for him to mutter, the king is coming, the king is coming, before he breaks three. Gain this clue. If you fail, okay, we didn't fail. Alrighty. Well, yeah, those killing chambers. Um, those of you who haven't read the collection of short stories entitled The um, King in Yellow by, uh, uh, by um, Robert W. Chambers um, should really do so. So we're going to get this clue and we're not going to... We're going to place it on this... Um, oh, no, actually, she has to have it as she flies over it, so she cannot put it there. It's not, a cumul it's not cumulative by different people. It has to be done by one person only. Let's just hope that we don't get anything that will make us discard all of our clues. And this is the end of the round. So now we have a mystery phase, a uh, mythos phase. First of all, um, we have a... The Omen track advances. Let's see. And we don't have a gate that corresponds to this. We get a monster surge. Monster surge means we get two monsters, which we are now going to draw from the bag. Um, but only if the current... Well, it doesn't happen because we don't have any gates that have a green, a blue constellation. We get a clue, we get two clues, as a matter of fact, and one is spawned in Arkham. And one is spawned in... Number 12, which is down here. So her ability to actually pull them towards her is very, very good. So she's going to do this next turn. She's going to pull this one to her. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, calling the Elder Things. According to the police report, several individuals entered the warehouse in the middle of the night. They performed some sort of ritual which culminated in their death. What we know, um, but what you know, um, that the police don't, sorry, what you know that the police don't is that afterwards something inhuman left that warehouse. Okay, we're going to spawn a monster and it is a Gnovkech and this is, this is thematic in a way because it's in Tunguska. Um, when this monster spawns, um, move it into the Himalayas. Brilliant! So this is toughness three. Um, so we're going to send um, Zoe here, but Zoe will have to go to to meet up with our friend Lola first, because Lola has stuff for her, plenty of stuff. Um, she will give her um, a lodge researcher, and she will give her... Um, A genealogy research and she's gonna bless her yeah so the two of them really need to meet up and um, yeah this is what's going to happen next so so on the next turn what we're going to do is Lola is going to prepare for travel and she's going to move to Rome. Zoe has already prepared for travel, so she's going to move to Rome. Um, Lola is going to test her. Well, Lola can't do anything then, but um, when the two of them meet, they will have a free action to, um, to trade because this is a free action in my game and um, Zoe will try and rest. Um, Well, actually, yeah, I think this is what's going to happen. Yes, and she needs to get to Tunguska. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, 
Claire, uh, sorry, Claire. Um, Diane is also going to move to Rome to encounter, um, to meet up with um, Lola to get some stuff from her. And and our dear friend here in Shanghai is going to take a rest action to address her. She doesn't have... Oh, oh, yes, she does have a leg injury and then she's going to move to Istanbul. Okay. So... Um, that sounds like a plan, so I'll see you soon for the next installment. Scene.